peeps and welcome back to my channel it's another city girl here tuning in with another video before we begin today's video i just want to say thank you so much for all the new subscribers and support from my last video of the five thousand dollar haul of louis vuitton items if you're new here my channel provides luxury and lifestyle content please subscribe to be notified of when new videos are posted so jumping into today's video, it is a comparison video of the toiletry pouches 15, 19, and 26. In this video, I am going to talk about the sizes, dimensions of these pouches, as well as what fits inside these pouches. So the first half of the video will be me describing each of the pouches as well as the dimensions, and I will be measuring it for you. And the second half will be what fits inside. So the first toiletry pouch we're going to look at is the toiletry pouch 26. This is the largest of the toiletry pouches in the monogram canvas. And the dimension of the width of the pouch is about 25 centimeters. And in inches, it is about 9.8 inches across. And in terms of the height of the toiletry pouch from the zipper of the very top to the base of the pouch, it is about 7.9 inches. And in centimeter, it is just about 20 centimeters. So moving on to the depth of the toiletry pouch 26, I found that mine was a little bit bigger than the dimension on the website. So this one is about a little bit over two inches and in centimeters, it's about six centimeters. However, on the website, it notes it's about two inches and or five centimeters. Moving on to the mid-size toiletry pouch is the toiletry pouch 19. Of all three toiletry pouches, this is my favorite and this is the one I use every single day in my purse as a catch-all. Moving on to dimensions, the length of the toiletry pouch is about 7.8 inches in length or about 19 centimeters as you can see here. And as for the height of the toiletry pouch from the very top to the base, it is about 15 centimeters or 5.9 inches. And moving on to the depth of the toiletry pouch 19, it is a little bit over two inches, 2.1. And in centimeters, it's just about five and a half centimeters, almost six centimeters which is a little bit more than the dimensions referred on the website, which is two inches or five centimeters. And finally, the last toiletry pouch I'm gonna talk about is the toiletry pouch 15. This is the smallest of the three and lengthwise it is about 5.9 inches or 15 centimeters. As for the height of the toiletry pouch 15, from the very top to the base again, it is about 3.9 inches or about 10 centimeters. As for the depth of the toiletry pouch 15, mine is just under two inches, as you can see here. And in centimeters, it is just about five centimeters. I found mine a little bit bigger than what was listed on the website, which was 1.6 inches or four centimeters. So for the second half of the video, I am going to see what fits inside the toiletry pouches. These are some of the items that I carry. The first one up is going to be the toiletry pouch 26. So the first item I am going to put in is the iPad mini 2. And it completely fits inside the toiletry pouch 26. That's good to know. 
So if you're traveling and you want to carry your iPad with you, you can definitely do that. And the next item I'm gonna put into the Toiletry 26 is the hairbrush. And it looks like it completely lays flat on the bottom of the base of the Toiletry Pouch 26. I am going to put in all my makeup to see if that also fits and how the bag looks. So as you can see, I've put in all my makeup and the hairbrush along with my pen, hand sanitizer, Clarisil, as well as the Advil um, that I usually like to carry if I were traveling. And it looks like everything fits with the zippers closed up, um, but it warps a little bit. So I think essentially what I need to do is just to remember that when I pack, I pack it neatly tetris style essentially so then that way it prevents the warping but as you can see here everything does fit inside the toiletry pouch 26. so the next thing i want to try is if i could use the toiletry pouch 26 like a handbag slash clutch i'm going to put my emily wallet in there that's my everyday wallet and that fits really nicely in there so the next thing i'm going to do is to grab a hand sanitizer a uh, couple lip gloss as well as I'm gonna throw in my iPad mini 2 in there just maybe it's just something I wanted to take with me on the go read a book or something like that and as you can see here everything fits really really nicely in the toiletry pouch 26 I'm going to zip it up right now to see if it warps at all and it looks it actually looks not too bad it looks pretty flat um, it's there's a little bit of bulging as you can see so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my Emily wallet and replace it with the multi cart and the uh, key pouch as when I usually downsize to use any clutch or smaller handbag I always downsize my wallet as well so this is more realistic and I just wanted to show you and it fits really really nicely and in fact there's no major bulging or warping coming out from the uh, toiletry pouch. Alternatively, sometimes I also use the Gucci card holder and the Hermes uh, Bastia coin purse. So I'm going to show you, and as you can see, these items are a lot smaller and flatter, so it actually even fits even better in the toiletry pouch 26 to use as a clutch along with the other items I have in there. All right, now we are going to play with the toiletry pouch 19. This is the medium size pouch of the three pouches. This is actually the pouch that I use every single day um, as my catch all in my purse. So the first thing I'm, what I'm gonna do is to try to fit all my makeup in there and we'll see how that looks. So I quickly realized that a makeup brush does not fit inside the toiletry pouch 19, but I was able to fit in my makeup as well as other essentials like hand sanitizer, a pen, Advil, and I was able to close it up. But as you can see here, major warping, major bulging. Um, it concerns me a little bit to see it this full, uh, but it, it's good to see that this toiletry pouch 19 can carry quite a bit. So size wise, I knew a hairbrush wouldn't fit inside the toiletry pouch 19, but I wanted to show you. And as you can see here, it sticks out quite a bit. The other item is the makeup brush. I also knew it didn't fit when I was trying earlier. So I wanted to show you how it looks like it. It sticks out quite like just a little bit. It's not too much. Um, I don't like the bristles bent and that's why I have a little cover there. Um, so with 
items inside a makeup brush does not fit uh, but on an angular just by itself it does fit in there so next thing i want to do with the toiletry pouch 19 is to you know see if i could use it like a clutch size wise i knew that an emily wallet wouldn't fit but i wanted to show you how it looks like sticking out so there it is uh, next thing I'm going to do is to put the multi cart as well as um, lip gloss, perfume, some, just some essentials to use it like a clutch. So here is everything all packed inside the toiletry pouch 19 like a clutch. And let's see if it closes up. And it closes up really, really nicely here as you can see. A little bit of bulging. Um, but overall, it's not too bad. And finally, we are going to see what fits inside the toiletry pouch 15. So the first thing I am going to see if I could use this as a makeup pouch. So I'm going to try to fit in all the makeup I have here inside the toiletry pouch 15. So I was able to put in most of the makeup product that I have and zip up the toiletry pouch 15 really nicely. Uh, the only two things I couldn't put in was the eyelash curler as well as the sugar advanced lip therapy treatment for my dry lips. And finally, the last thing I wanted to do is to try using the toiletry pouch 15 as a clutch. So I put in my Gucci card holder as well as my Hermes coin purse and just a few essential items like hand sanitizer, of course, and a lip gloss and see how it all fits. And as you can see, it fits these four items in there really nicely. Obviously, because of the size of the toiletry pouch 15, you cannot put too many things in there, but definitely a cute little pouch. And that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you find it informative comparing the sizes of the toiletry pouches and what fits inside. Let me know in the comments section below which one is your favorite and I'll see you next time. Thank you.